morning, everyone, and welcome. Uh, I'm just so excited to be here. It's really a new beginning for Rothenberg Preparatory Academy. And we have some very, very special guests here this morning. And I understand our vice mayor is here, and she wants to say a few words of welcome before we get the program started. So let's welcome our vice mayor, Roxanne Paul. Isn't this wonderful? And I just want to, on behalf of Mayor Mark Mallory and the entire city council, congratulate um, all of the students at Rothenburg. Want to congratulate the wonderful leadership and the administration, as well as the Board of Education and the superintendent. I mean, their, their commitment to working with the community and to work with those of us who really believe that Rothenburg is one of the very important linchpins in the community of Oak the Rhine and that all of the children who will be here so much are a part of our community and really this institution is going to give them not just a great place but a great place to learn and prepare for the future and so thank you all who made this possible and congratulations to all of you. Well good morning. Good morning. This is an awesome movement. Isn't this so gorgeous? your computer and all of it comes up on our whiteboard. Uh, we have chandeliers in our lunchroom. We have a nice little ambiance that goes on while we get our, well, you know, delightful lunches. State approved. Nothing fried. I am so excited to be here. We love this place. We love the community. We love the babies. They are our babies. Yeah. facility. Those of you who can stay, we have some very awesome uh, scholars that will walk you around and give you a tour of this lovely building if you can stay for a while. Um, but just welcome yourselves. This is a community learning center. We are here to serve the community and we think we serve the community best by making sure that we educate the children to the best of our ability. So if we get them the best education and they can become productive citizens, then that makes the community better. So we serve you. That's why we're here. You need to use the school for something, just come and see us, because we're about making Over the Rhine the best place, and Rothenburg one of the best schools in the nation. That's our goal. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I
The students are always learning and reading. This is why we are always succeeding. We are so lucky to have our new school. Miss Smith and our teachers expect the best. That's why we saw her on our test. We are so lucky to have Rutherford. Thank you. Jemima is going to sing a song for us. I used to be afraid of giving up the road just to stop. Out here on my own, my path was so long. But now I see clearly everything within me is reaching out to the sky. I can see the world with open eyes. Hey, you can light a patch, you just stick on and grasp it. Now it's time to take a chance. On the strength of a thousand men, climb onto my feet again. Dry tears from your eyes, and everything will be alright. We'll light a rainbow just inside. Let your wings off as you rise. If your heart feels overwhelmed, just know you never got yourself. Put your hand in mine, hold your head up high, and together we'll And find yourself asking why There was no eye to eye With the hardships of the life My faith is where my heart is My energy replaced my doubts I let my child do the best for me I'm watching for just my destiny Hey, you can let it pass you Just stand on the gas Now it's time to take a chance With the strength of a thousand men Now, we actually enlarged the campus 
beyond what it used to be because we needed green space for the children, playgrounds, and this fantastic new gymnasium as an addition. And I have to thank the team of Savvy Architects that they took extra care, making sure that they preserved all the special features of the original building, such as the marble, the ironwork, and you'll notice as you walk through the building, all the beautiful molding. And the building was designed with energy efficiency in mind. In fact, all of the projects in our facilities master plan involved a great deal of input from the community. And I am so excited to see all the community members here today. Thank you for your support and all your ideas during the design process. You certainly deserve a round of applause. In fact, I recall that some residents of Over the Rhine had some very strong opinions about what they wanted to see in the redesigned building. In fact, they convinced us that renovation was the answer instead of rebuilding. And I think your advice was right. So I hope all of the children are, are actually enjoying your brand new school with the split level wings, all the colors, your extended learning areas, and also the school is what we call a community learning center. It is opened up after school hours to serve the community, just like Principal Smith said, if you want to hold a meeting, you want to use it on a Saturday, we're opening our school buildings to the community. And in fact, this school has something that most schools in our district don't have, and that is the rooftop garden, which is absolutely incredible. And actually, it's being installed and funded by the community to serve as a learning lab for our students. I could not believe when I was taken up there this summer, and you can see the entire over the Rhine, all the renovation, and I can't wait till it actually gets planted and the youngsters start to get to use it. Well, I'm going to uh, conclude my remarks by saying our plans and our dream was to have a new building, a 21st century state-of-the-art building for every child in Cincinnati Public Schools. And we have done that. We are at the end of our 10-year plan. And I hope that you take the same joy that we do in having wonderful renovated school buildings or new school buildings for all the children in Cincinnati Public Schools. And thanks to all of you, the taxpayers, who have made this possible. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Listen, this is such a wonderful day. Many of you may not know, but some of you do, that actually Brokenburg was the first school we worked on. It is also the last school we're working, that we, which we're working on. We saved the best for last. We covered the whole spectrum. But what it does show you is, the, is, the, um, is a testament, I think, to how when people, when everybody works together, you get exactly something like this, this gift. So it, it took not just the school board that represents the committee and the administration, it took the architects, it took the community to say, this is what we want. So I have to change a little bit what the superintendent says. She said, you all convinced us. You did, never did have to convince us. When you wanted a renovation, we wanted one too. Unfortunately, at that point, we were said, well, you, can't, you don't have the money to do that. So guess what? We got together with the community. We went to the state. We presented our argument and our, our, um, our, our, best, our best estimate of what we wanted, best desire, what we wanted to have done as a Cincinnati community. And the state said, OK. And that's what happens. That's what happens when everybody works together, when all the voices are heard, that's what happens. This is what happens. So on behalf of the Board of Education, I, I can only say congratulations to all of us. Thank you. Let's give Ms. Schwartz a round of applause. I'm going to let her tell it all. I'm not going to tell it all Good morning, everyone. Good morning. 
I'm not sure I deserve applause. I was just the facilitator. I am the interim director of the Skirball Museum of Hebrew Union College Jewish Institute of Religion right here in Cincinnati. And I, I took this job in June, and one of the first pieces of correspondence to cross my desk was a series of emails between Joanne Travis and Mary Ann Berry and Janet Walsh about the idea of bringing a portrait of Louis Rothenberg, for whom this school is named, back to Cincinnati to ultimately reside here in the school. So we worked out all the details over the summer, and I'm very happy to report that today we are going to unveil this portrait, and it is going to hang inside the door of the library just to the left, and it'll be up later today. I'm going to let Joanne tell you all the details about her, her great-grandfather, but I am going to read you the label that will be accompanying the painting uh, when it hangs later this morning. Professor Louis Rothenberg, 1845-1915, oil on canvas, painted about 1913, collection of Hebrew Union College Jewish Institute of Religion, Cincinnati, Skirball Museum, gift of Joanne Travis. Professor Rothenberg was born at Ar Arholzen, Hanover, Germany in 1945 and came to Cincinnati in 19 1869. Boy, that was wrong. 1845. We've got to fix this label. <laughs> Soon after, he was appointed German instructor at the 15th District School. He taught there until 1883, when he became principal of the school. During his tenure, he was instrumental in passing the first law establishing teachers' pensions, and he founded the Teachers' Pension Fund. Rothenberg retired from active service in 1913 when a new structure was erected on the site of the building where he had served for 20 years as principal. It was named Rothenberg School in his honor. He died in 1915 after a brief illness and is buried in Judah Torah, Torah, Judah Torah Cemetery in Price Hill. So today you're going to receive a picture, a portrait of the man that the building is named after. And this is his great granddaughter. She's going to tell you all about him, okay? Hi, my name is Joanne Rothenberg Travis. And this is my cousin, Dick Fragler, who is also a great grandson. Right. And if you look at the dates and you look at us, you might wonder did we know him? <laughs> well, we're both pretty old, but we didn't know our great grandfather. So I have to tell you a few things about the involvement of my family with this school, and it's all because of Regine Ranslerhoff, who is in the back of the room. I'm not going to ask her to stand up. She's waving. Oh, she did stand up. That wonderful woman is my mother's cousin. And when she was down here, she saw my parents, she said, why are you not involved in this school that has your name? And they said, well, yeah, we ought to be. If you all could close your eyes and picture my father, whose name was Rosenberg. He was a teacher at the medical school. He was a doctor, and he was a very serious person. And he used to come down here with my mother at around this time every year, and about a hundred children would each read to him the story of Turkey Lurkey. He was also a very patient man. But he also did some other things. He said that he thought birthdays should be celebrated by children. So he always had a birthday party here for the children of Rosenberg School on his birthday. And I wish we could still do that. And do you think any of you, if you're in the back, raise your hand if you think you might go to Walnut Hills High School. Isn't that wonderful? Well, he offered anyone who went to Walnut Hills a special gift 
not very much, but a special something. And at that time, nobody wanted to go to that school, which I always thought was very sad. That's where I graduated, and I thought it was wonderful. And I'm going to turn this over to Dick here. Good morning. I have a very little to add to that wonderful talk by my first cousin. Beyond saying it's a wonderful treat to be here today, it's a wonderful treat to see all these smiling faces. It's delightful to see this facility is available to all of you. Thank you. Oh, 
I also want to thank Ms. Smith, Ms. Barbara Bell, and all the teachers, the community, the parents who made this possible for the students. Over the Ryan Hat, oh, excuse me, Over the Ryan Community Council have four major goals. They include safety, youth program, engagement, and mixed development. We are very excited about the project that includes all four goals that we believe in. Dear parents, many of us haven't been in the building yet for a tour, but I know the new school has all the resources for your child to succeed. So please, and so please engage. So therefore, before I go, I want to say to the parents and to the kids, please pay attention to your kids. These are future. You really? <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Okay. Right. Like I said, parents, please pay attention to the kids. Kids, listen to your parents. Oh, that was my phone. <laughs> like I said, um, the kids is very important to us in our community, and we need to engage with them. With them. Thank you, and yeah, have a nice day. Last speaker will be Ms. Darden. And we know that's Ms. Dorothy. And Ms. Dorothy has um, was at Brooklyn for long before I came, but she's here every day volunteering in our parent center. So she's going to give us a little words of wisdom, and then um, I'm going to say a couple of thank yous, and we're going to cut the ribbon and thank everybody for coming out. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> to God be the glory for this event. To God be the glory. But I would like to say to all the workers in the house, I want you to turn and look to the children in the back because those are your teachers, your professors, your doctors, your lawyers, your contractors. Everything is back there. We have the package. We have the package. We have the package. We can deliver. We need all of you. Parents, as Mr. McQueen said, take care of your babies. But community, being us, take care of the babies. Dr. Lewis Rothenberg had a vision. He built a building to withstand the test of time. Had to be updated, but he thought about the children. And so we need to be vigilant. We need to get out. We need to continue to tutor, to grasp, to hold on to our babies. They are the best of the best. And we need to be out there working with them, giving them the knowledge that has been passed on to us. That is the best back there. They are the best of the gems. And I'm asking you to come out and take your little cloths and kind of polish them a little with some of what you got because they need all of it. Because those are our babies, and that is the future. And Falcon Buck, Falcons, you soar. Can I get a soar back? Soar! soar. Continue to fly, baby. I love you all. And just to let people know who I was and that I was here, that I wanted to be here, um, that I was excited about being here, but also you guys, are serious about the building, uh, making sure over the ride is the best. I appreciate that. I can call on any of the councils. I can call on the churches around here. Um, even churches outside of the neighborhood I have partnerships. They are about helping. It's a community, like Ms. Darby said. 
It's about each one reach one. And it's about that village. And if we don't get back to that mindset, we're gonna lose a whole generation. Um, our rooftop garden, um, I would be remiss. Pope has been raising this money for a few years. Could you raise your hand, Mr. Pope? Just raise your hand. Pope's theory is, if you ask and they say no, go to the next person. So I was like, okay, that's a good theory. I'm gonna try that. And it does work. Mr. Dana, can you just stand up? One of our parents took those photos. When school started and we were 100 kids over our projection, our parents stepped in and they were in the lunchroom and they were writing late notes and they were making sure kids had uniforms. They stepped in and did whatever Ms. Smith asked or his teachers asked to make sure that Rothenberg ran as smooth as possible. So I just wanted to acknowledge them today and say how much I appreciate that because we couldn't do it without them. Some come early in the morning and make sure the breakfast is fixed for the look. We just have great parents and I, I don't want to forget you guys and let you think I don't remember. All right, now let's cut the ribbon on the new Rothenberg. Thank you.